Plaintiff Savannah Hart says when she first met the defendant, she was a stripper and they drank and did meth together. Savannah claimed she and the defendant married and after they quit using drugs, they decided to have a child. However, she's suing him today because he assaulted her and damaged her property. Defendant Joe Hart says after he appeared before Judge Mathis in 2010, he went through a divorce and got hooked on meth. Joe says Savannah was an escort and she's the one who instigated the physical fight by biting his lip. Joe petitioned the court for a DNA test because he has doubts about fathering Savannah's child. Start with you. When we first got together, he was a biker, I was a stripper, we were doing meth, we were doing a lot of drugs, doing meth. drinking, yes. And you were a dancer doing those years, an exotic dancer? Yes, I, I had started probably in 2009, I think, 2010 dancing. Slash escort. And how did you change? Well, we had gotten together, did the crazy life, and then we decided we we're gonna change our lives and get married. And then we got married, but we continued to drink together. And then we decided we we're gonna try to have a child. Well, we ended up having That's our baby. What has it been like, your marriage? Well, we fought a lot. We drank, and that's why I'm suing. It's because something that happened a few months after we had gotten married. Okay, we'll get to that. Sir, you uh, give me some background. Well, first of all, Your Honor, I'd like to start off with, I was here in 2010 on the show, and I really feel like just prevailed for me then, and I'm sure hoping it does today. Uh, when I left here last time, I did happen to go through a divorce from my, my first wife in 2011, which is approximately the time I started smoking meth. Um, up until that point, I had owned a business. I had 40 employees working for me at the time, and that's the reason I was here last time was an employee had stolen from the company. You had 40 employees when you came? Yes, sir. In 2010? Yes, sir. Was it then a lab? After... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a meth lab. It wasn't a lab. No. It and was a roofing company. After you left... You become a meth head and oh, lost everything. Well, I went through a divorce and that kind of... Everybody else coming in and say, Judge, you inspired me to change my life and you did the reverse on me. I've had a, I had a rough couple years. You hurt my reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I blame the ex-wife for that, not you. Okay, I right. blame the ex-wife. And right. maybe the motorcycle club a little bit too. All right, go when ahead. When I left and I started going through a divorce, I met a guy who was in a motorcycle club and I became good friends with them and we started hanging out and I ended up joining the motorcycle club myself, which actually turns out how I met the plaintiff here. Me and the, some of the brothers in the club went out to a strip club one night, and this is who I seen on stage. Um, it, it really started out as a one night stand gone wrong. Um, <laughs> it's lasted several years, so it's, it's been a lot more than a one night stand. What was it like during those years? During those years, I constantly caught her talking to other men on Facebook. I would go through her phone sometimes and I'd see her sending pictures to other men, talking to other men and... Uh, was she still dancing in the club? Yes. And I'd also that find out... That's her business. Well, she also went missing for three days one time and found out later she was meeting a guy just to give him some company. And you know she was smoking meth for three days. Yo, meth head, you should know you come up missing two, three days, you're smoking meth, you're on a binge. Go ahead. Uh, after that, her and I, we had our rocky points in our relationship. We so went to crack? <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not to crack. No, sir. You say you had rocks? Yeah. No, rocky places. Oh, rocky places. Rocky Go places. Ahead. I had gotten in. I had gotten into a physical alter altercation with a uh, with another man and ended up going on the run, and uh, that took us across the country where I ultimately ended up in another jail in another state. <laughs> and uh, once I got out of there, I came back to Nebraska, and um, after. After all that, she, her and I were not together for some time, and I tried to, we tried to reconcile some things, um, and that's when the night in question happened. Um, okay, but since you got married, you've been clean for the most part? Yes, sir. Other than drinking? Yeah, I was in prison, so. And they have more dope in prison than they, they do, do on the street. They do, but at that point, I was determined to change my life back to how it was. Okay. So. Yeah. Plaintiff Savannah Hart is legally married to the defendant, but he petitioned the court for a paternity test because he has doubts about fathering her son. Let's hear about what happened with this assault that you're suing him for and the uh, damaged property. What happened? Well, we were at a bar and we were drinking, of course, and he seems to think because of his own insecurities that I was flirting with somebody. Insecurities? She gives them to me, Your Honor. Let her finish. Well, he seems to think that I was flirting with somebody. I said, no, I'm not. So he decided out of spite he was going to go flirt with the bartender. 
So being the bigger person, I just left. I wasn't going to cause a scene and fight there at the bar. I left. Well, he That's was not. pissed off that I left. And so whenever he found me walking home. She's not telling the whole story. Let her finish. So whenever he found me walking home, he snatched me up and threw me in the truck, and we went home. And we argued a little bit. It didn't get physical. And then we ended up having sex. We went to bed together. And when we're done with sex, literally still naked in bed, he decides to whisper in my ear, let's just be friends. And this is after we've been married for four months. And so when, then when he tried to kiss me afterwards, like it was a sweet nothing, I bit his lip, right. and as soon as he leaned forward, I kicked him in the chest off the bed. And she bit through my lip. Yeah. Well, whenever he got back up, I saw a look on his face and realized I made a huge mistake, and I immediately started to apologize. But it was too late. He was already raging mad at me. And he knocked me off the bed. He'd slap me. When I tried to walk away, he grabbed me by my hair and pulled me back. And then I tried to walk away again, and he pushed me, and I fell, and my face hit the floor, and I chipped half my tooth off. And then somehow... Somebody must have called the cops who heard us arguing, and the cops showed up, and we both got arrested. I got arrested for a warrant. He got arrested for okay, domestic what about assault. the property you're suing about? During the mix of all of our fight and arguing, that's whenever he decided to break my pool table, my TV, and my iPhone, and a little you jewelry box. You all were married? Yeah. And you brought that into the marriage? Absolutely. All right. And you have estimates for those things? Dang. Yeah, I have a receipt. And, sir, let me hear and your pictures. side. My side's a little bit different. Story. I think she's leaving some of the story out. When we was at the bar that night, Your Honor, she didn't. She left out the fact that she went to the bathroom, and I happened to go through her phone and see that she had been talking to a guy that I had forbid her to talk to six months prior to that. So when she came out of the bathroom, she's right. I was up at the bar talking to the bartender, having general conversation. I turn around, next thing I know, and she's gone out the bar. So I walk outside of the bar and look for her, and she's done this before where she runs off, and it... It really, it really, it, it's a pet peeve of mine to just run off every time we have a situation. And, and she just disappears. And on top of the alcohol, nonetheless. So when I did find her, I did put her in the car by her hair, I guess you could say. Uh, when we got to the house, we had cooled stuff down a little bit and we started talking and we did have sex like she said. But I had already had full intentions after catching her talking to that guy on the phone. It was kind of more or less, let me get mine real quick before I end it. And, and I don't think, had she not bit me and pushed me off of her, maybe I would have never assaulted her. Well, you could have walked away. I no, I, I get that, Your Honor. Lost your temper. And the property, you damaged that? I'm not going to lie. I did damage the property, but I feel like if, if she wouldn't have provoked me, I would have never broke her stuff. All right, I see something about uh, DNA tests. We have an issue here. There isn't. You want me to address that? Yeah. I will definitely address that. Mm -hmm. About... Three months after we got separated, she comes and tells me she's four months pregnant. I'm not going to believe it's my kid when she's... I've caught her talking to guys I've told her not to text before. We had agreed to deactivate our Facebook, which she had another Facebook under a different name, under her maiden name, so I couldn't find it, and I found out about that. There's no, there's no telling who the father of this kid is, Your Honor. Ma'am, what do you say to this? That is absolutely his child, no engaged. question. You weren't, uh, Easy to say. You didn't see anybody else during that time frame? No, not during that time frame. That is his baby. I guess you can't sleep with somebody on Facebook through the internet, but I know right. you can sure meet him. And that was, that was not too far from her past, Your Honor. <laughs> All right, so let's go and get the right. DNA and see whose baby this is. There you go, Doc. Had you that one last one. I tell you what, Your Honor, if, if this is my kid, I'm, I'm not a dirty guy. If it is my kid, I will, res I will raise my kid and I support hear. my child. Good man. I have three other kids that I, that I see on a regular basis. One lives with me full time. All right, good. Is that true? Yeah. He's a responsible father? Good. Plaintiff Savannah Hart is legally married to the defendant, but he petitioned the court for a paternity test because he has doubts about fathering her son. Joseph Hart. You are 99.99999% nah. the father. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> All right, there you go. And your claim uh, for your property is granted and for the assault. That's one of the only times that a husband and wife are successful in a claim over a dispute. It has to be a physical assault.
because couples argue all the time. That's part of marriage, arguing, fussing, getting angry, talking crazy, and property disputes. Well, unless you brought it into the marriage, it's joint property. In this case, your property, you brought it into the marriage. Put your hand down and get your child support ready. That's what you do. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. like to, for the sake of our child, at least try to get along as parents and you never know about the future, maybe stuff can be reconciled. We'll always have to see what the future holds, but definitely as long as he takes responsibility for his child, I'm not going to keep him from him.